at this point the trim curve is still somewhat affecting the construction history for the surfaces so for example if I select this or those surfaces all together and say move you will see that alias tells you that there is an active construction history and you can either click yes or for example this curve you could also delete personally I actually would like to keep that curve active or not active I would like to remain this one so for example I with those um, curves select uh, surfaces selected I maybe just move it just a little bit with the middle mouse button and then say yes so that's fine so those surfaces are now completely naked and this line I'm going to assign to that profile layer to continue now the steps they use in the tutorial before we move and reposition and scale those I'm going to select all those surfaces and then group them together so instead of clicking just all surfaces together I just have to click one and then it selects all the other objects the grouping is a pretty good feature um, because it as you can see makes moving multiple parts a lot easier and we can turn on the surface layer and maybe move this object a little bit to the right and then when we click on scale however you will notice that it scales down to where the pivot point is so we have to change the position of the pivot point we can click on pivot point and maybe move it somewhere to there and now I would like it for example to snap somewhere on the surface so I can turn on the curve snap and then click somewhere on this curve and in my case I simply position it at the beginning of that surface because now when I go into scale you can see that it scales from and to the or yeah to that pivot point and then I can move those in a little bit and reposition it maybe like this then I can copy and paste move the same space and then perform another scale and yeah that for example I think I can agree on maybe this one can go just a notch higher so that the distances are somewhat even okay that's good